Hi, in this video I'm going to be going over the field testing of my new canoe Frontier 12 with my Haswing Cayman GPS Bowman trolling motor. I'll be running a series of tests out on the lake and I will post the results with this video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is a view of the trolling motor mounted on the bow of my new canoe Frontier 12 kayak. It is a Haswing Cayman GPS 12 volt 55 pound thrust trolling motor with a 48 inch shaft that is rated for salt and fresh water. Now this trolling motor has both advanced GPX technology and wireless technology. And in order to use the GPS technology and the features that come with it, all you need to do is download the Helmsman application from the App Store for your iPhone, iPad, or your Android device and then just sync it with your motor. Now using the GPS positioning technology of this Helmsman app keeps you on course with these features and functions. There's a GPS location locking with multiple anchor points. There's a route memory so you can record and retrace your paths. And the GPS anchor lock is 15 to 100 feet of your position accurate, which is very good. It also gives you full trolling motor control, your speed, steering, and you can do this from any position on the boat. All you need to do is enter your desired course or your anchor points. Now the trolling motor itself has a power reader on the head and that displays the battery level. And for the wireless technology, it comes with a handheld wireless fob as well as a foot pedal, which I will show you later in this video. I did want to go over some of the modifications I made to the Haswing trolling motor for my New Canoe Frontier 12. To begin with, I used the New Canoe bow mount, which is designed for use with the Minn Kota and Motor Guide trolling motors, but since I had the Haswing and I wanted to use the Haswing Quick Connect, I had to do a little bit of a modification to make it fit on the new canoe mount, which wasn't too difficult once I figured out how I wanted it done. I also shortened the shaft by 10 inches to make it fit better on the kayak. And I'll go around and show you. That's the Haswing Quick Connect set up there. And then I also did my own power port connector using an Atwood 12 volt trolling motor, male and female plug. So that's it. The only thing left to do now is get it out on the water and test it. This is a computer photo showing the wireless controllers. On the left side is the handheld fob, which shows the buttons and the corresponding functions. On the right side is the foot pedal controller, which has a display up towards the top that indicates the speed and direction of travel. And it also shows the pedals and their corresponding functions. In this part of the video, I'm going to use the wireless handheld fob to control the motor, and I'll go ahead and show you. Let's get a little speed going here. back down the speed a little bit and I'm going to do a loop around the area. And we're just going to turn on a 360 here. Very easily to control.
and then I'm gonna straighten out and head on out again. Now, since I know that my top speed today is about eh, 3.94 miles an hour, I'm gonna measure the amount of current flow that the motor puts out at that. So let's crank it up. And right now you can see we're almost at max speed. And reading my meter here. I've got just about 28 and a half. Well, now we're going at about 1.9 miles an hour, and we're drawing about between 3.8 and 4 amps. And I'm fluctuating at about 1 mile an hour. And I'm pulling about 1.3 amps. I completed the field test of the new canoe and Haswing trolling motor today. I was very happy with the results of the wireless handheld fob controller used for this setup. Now the wireless foot pedal also worked just as well, but I have to give a word of warning to anybody that wants to use this on a kayak. Do not use the helmsman application to control the trolling motor on a light kayak. The reason being is Helmsman application is calibrated to be used on a larger boat. So the thrust given by the Helmsman application is very powerful and pushed my kayak around to the point where it was a little unsafe. So I do not recommend using the Helmsman application. But other than that, the Haswing trolling motor performed great and I highly recommend it. I also am going to post some of the results of the amp draw at various speeds when I did my testing. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.